Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are discussing nature of the quadratic forms. Given problem is determine the nature, index, signature of the quadratic form 2x1, x2 plus 2x2, x3 plus 2x3, x1. Okay, friends, first you have to observe in the given problem, they are asking nature, index and signature, but they are not asking reduce the quadratic form into canonical form that you have to identify. If they are asking that question, this is a lengthy process. Reduce the quadratic form to canonical form. We have a different method. First method is diagonalization method. Second one is orthogonal transformation. Third one is Lagrange's reduction we have. Okay. But here they are not asking reduced into canonical form. Just they are asking nature. How can you find out the nature of the quadratic form means First, we have to convert the given quadratic form. This is in the form of x transpose ax. This quadratic form, we have to convert into matrix form. After that, we have to find out the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 if a is a 3 by 3 matrix. If all the eigenvalues are positive, then we can say nature. How you can say nature here? Based on the sign of the eigenvalues. Next, you have to say index. Index means number of positive eigenvalues. Next you have to say signature. Signature is nothing but the difference between positive eigenvalues and negative eigenvalues. So I think it is a clear for you. So first what we have to do? This quadratic form we have to convert into matrix notation form. Solution. The given quadratic form can be written as x transpose ax where x transpose is equal to x1, x2, x3. Friends, you are observe, this is the quadratic form. It is containing x1, x2, x3. So, we will get the symmetric matrix A of order 3 by 3. Okay, friends. Now, here you observe, first I am writing x1, x2, x3 here. Okay, next I am writing here x1, x2, x3. So, friends, you remember x1 into x1. So, the diagonal element, actually you will get here. 3 by 3 matrix. Why 3 by 3? Here you have a, how many variables? x1, x2, x3. 3 variables. That is why. First this is represent a first diagonal element. What is this diagonal element here? x1 square coefficient. What is the x1 square here? Is there any x1 square? No, you don't have any x1 square. Write down 0. Next, x2 into x2. What is the x2 coefficient here? x2 square coefficient is here. Is there any x2 square? No, that is why you written it is also 0. Next, x3 into x3. Third diagonal element is x3 into x3 means x3 square coefficient. Is there any x3 square uh, term here? No. So, write down this term is also 0. Next, here you observe friends. x1 into x2. x1 into x2 coefficient here you have written. As well as you have a x2, x1 because this A is a symmetric matrix. When we are converting quadratic form into symmetric form, means A is a symmetric matrix. Now, this is represent a x1, comma x2 and x2, comma x1. Both are same. So, here we have to write uh, the coefficient of x1, x2 divided by 2. Here also we have to write the coefficient of x1, x2 divided by 2. What is the coefficient of x1, x2 you have? 2. 2 by 2 means 1. Here also you have to write same 1. Okay. Next you write on x1, x3. What is x1, x3 here you have? Yes, here you have x1, x3 coefficient is 2. So, here you have to write a 2 by 2, 1. Again, you have a x3, x1 because this is a symmetric matrix. So, both are same. So, here you write on 1 plus 1 will become a 2. Next, uh, here you write on x2, x3 coefficient divided by 2. x2, x3 coefficient what I have? 2. So, 2 divided by divided by 2 means 1. Here you also write on 1. So, this is our symmetric matrix A. Is it clear friends? If you return this one, then you will secure 2 marks easily. Okay. Now, what we have done? Quadratic form, we are converted into symmetric matrix form. Later, what we have to do? We have to find out the eigenvalues. Friends, we have symmetric matrix A is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, the characteristic equation of capital A is mod of A minus lambda I is equal to 0. That is modulus of A minus lambda I means first you write in the matrix A minus lambda I into you write in the matrix I. Here I is an identity matrix of order 3 by 3 because A is an identity matrix of order 3 by 3. That is the reason. So now I have written A minus lambda I into 
identity matrix I have written. Now determinant of a minus lambda I. 0 minus lambda. That is minus lambda. Next 1 minus 0, 1. Next 1 minus 0, 1. Because you have only diagonals are 1. Remaining all are 0. Due to that reason only you will get di for the diagonals minus lambda. So now 1 minus 0 is 1. Next 0 minus lambda is minus lambda. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. Next 1 minus 0 is 1. Next 0 minus lambda is minus lambda. So which is equal to 0. If you are simplified this equation then you will get a polynomial equation in lambda of degree 3. Friends you can do directly determinant method or else you can use a calculator. Okay and now I am using calculator. Friends we have A is a matrix. Yes or no? Now if you simplified you will get a polynomial in terms of lambda of degree 3. So how many eigenvalues you will get? 3 eigenvalues. So friends now I am writing characteristic equation is of the form if you are simplified lambda cube minus trace A into lambda square plus trace of adjoint A into lambda minus that a is equal to 0. Friends, you remember if you want to find out the eigenvalues without simplifying this by using calculator, it is better to use. Okay. Now, you remember this equation lambda cube minus trace of a into lambda square plus trace of adjoint a into lambda minus that a is equal to 0. You will get alternate sign plus minus plus minus. Okay. Now, I am using the calculator. For that first, I have to enter the matrix. Friends, now you go for mode. In that first, we have to go for matrix mode. First one is a composite. Second one is a complex. Third one is a start. Fourth one is a Bayesian. Fifth one is a equation. Sixth one is a matrix. So press six button. Now you press AC button. Friends, you observe in the top what I have mat M A T mat. So now we are in a matrix mode. It, this, this will calculate all the matrices operations. Now here you observe friends one uh, top of the one what you have start. Here four top is matrix. So press shift to 4 okay now what we have to do we have to enter the matrix with the dimension 3 by 3 so first you press 1 give a name what is the name you are giving matrix a so press 1 now which one you require a dimension 3 by 3 so press 1 now you enter all the values first value is 0 which is equal to next we have to enter 1 which is equal to next 1 is equal to again you have 1 which is equal to next you have 0 which is equal to 1 is equal to 1 equal to 1 is equal to next you have a 0 now you press AC friends we are entered matrix A and uh, we are minimized if you want you can verify now you press shift 4 check it mat A mat A is a uh, number is what 3 so press 3 which is equal to what now you see 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 now press AC what you require friends you require to find out the trace A by the observation you tell me friends what you have a uh, trace here 0 plus 0 plus 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 means trace A is what here? Trace A is equal to 0. Next what you required? Trace of adjoint A. We want trace of adjoint A not a, a, a total adjoint A. You remember. Okay friends. Now you find out a trace of adjoint A. Before that you required det A. You verify determinant is equal to 0 or not. So first I am finding a determinant of A. Shift 4. Into what I required? Determinant. Check it friends. First one is the dimension. Second one data. Third one mat A. Fourth one mat B. Fifth one mat C. Sixth one math answer. Next seventh one is determinant. So press 7. Determinant of what you required? Mat A. So shift 4 mat A which is equal to. So what are friends? Determinant is equal to 2. So write down here. Det A is equal to 2 which is not is equal to 0. When det A is equal to. Det A is not equal to 0. You will get A inverse or not? Yes, what is the A inverse formula we have? A inverse is equal to adjoint A divided by det A. Already I know which value? Det A I know. So from this mat A inverse into det A, if you multiply it, then what you are getting friends? Adjoint A. Okay friends, now I require adjoint A. Now already what I did? Determinant. So which is press AC first. Determinant what I got? 2. So press 2 into mat A inverse I want. Shift 4. Mat A is number 3. Press 3. Now A inverse I required. A inverse where I have? X factor. Yes, here you have X inverse. So mat A inverse which is gives the adjoint A. Check it. What is the adjoint A? Minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1. So now what I required? Trace of the adjoint A. I don't want adjoint A. I want trace of adjoint A. 
so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 if I add it then I will get a minus 3 so trace of adjoint A is minus 3 I am writing here trace of adjoint A is minus 3 okay now I got a trace A next a trace of adjoint A next a dt now you substitute these all values in this equation friends you may get one doubt so if dt A is equal to 0 if dt A is equal to 0 A inverse does not exist in this case how can I find out a trace of adjoint A that is a good question I repeat again if dt A is equal to 0 friends dt A 0 then will you get A inverse you cannot get the A inverse in this case what we have to do you can find out adjoint of A trace directly how can I find out you see friends now it is 0 okay now for the 0 uh, what I will get you see 0 into 0 0 0 minus 1 so minus 1 is the first one uh, what I am doing here I am finding a trace uh, diagonal values of the adjoint here diagonal values only I I am not required uh, other values okay for the 0 tell me what you will get value 0 into 0 0 this is minus 1 so minus 1 comma minus 1 for this third term you find out 0 into 0 this is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 are the diagonals of the adjoint matrix so if I added these three then what I will get trace of our adjoint a minus 3 even though debt to 0 or non 0 without using calculator also you can do okay friends whenever you are getting debt 0 to find the trace of adjoint a we have to use this method okay friends now you substitute a trace a value debt a value trace of adjoint a value in this equation then you will have lambda cube minus trace a is what you have 0 so 0 into lambda square plus trace of adjoint a what I have minus 3 minus 3 into lambda minus debt a what is the debt a here you have minus 2 which is equal to 0 now if you simplify it then you will have lambda cube minus 3 lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 this is the cubic polynomial equation in lambda so by using calculator you can find out lambda values you see friends now I am using calculator okay how can I find out first you have to go for general method general mode means uh, you have to go for composite press mode or setup next press 1 now we are in a general mode that is here you don't have any matrix or statistics okay friends now you required equations press mode button in that file equations mode here you have a lambda cube minus 3 lambda minus 2 it is a cubic polynomial in terms of lambda so find out a cubic polynomial this is a uh, polynomial uh, just this is a linear equation with two unknowns linear equation with three unknowns quadratic equation this is cubic equation so press 4 button now you enter lambda cube quotient here lambda cube quotient what I have 1 next you enter lambda square quotient is there any lambda square no press 0 next you have a lambda quotient what is the lambda quotient minus 3 is equal to next constant what I have minus 2 which is equal to now again you press is equal button x1 is equal to what 2 x2 is equal to what minus 1 is there any x3 no we are not getting x3 Friends, you remember we have a lambda 1 is equal to minus 2, lambda 2 is equal to minus 1. What about the third element? Once again, I am repeating, you see, if you press is equal button, lambda 1 means x1 is 2. So, this is plus 2, friends. Next, have you lambda 2? Lambda 2 is how much? Minus 1. What about the lambda 3? Not appearing. Friends, here you observe, whenever a cubic polynomial is there, you will get a 3 roots. But here you have a 2 roots. How can I get a another root? Friends, you remember we have a trace of A is equal to sum of eigenvalues. Sum of eigenvalues. Okay, what is the trace here you have for the matrix? 0. What are the eigenvalues here you have? 2 minus 1. Okay, 2 minus 1 is what? 1. So, what about the third eigenvalue? You remember friends, third eigenvalue might be lambda 1 or lambda 2. Third eigenvalue might be lambda 1 or lambda 2. If you take in lambda 1, what will happen? 2 plus 2 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so this is wrong so lambda 1 you should not take so what we have to do in this case you take lambda 2 is a lambda 3 both are equal now if you are taken minus 1 now you check it 2 minus 1 is 1 1 minus 1 0 so like this whenever a rip root is repeated you have to remember third root is also equal to the first root or second root how can you identify by using eigenvalue properties that is trace of a is equal to sum of eigenvalues or debt a is equal to product of the eigenvalues what is the determinant of a you have 
minus 2 okay friends like this you can find out okay 2 only you have a dt i is equal to 2 but first eigen value 2 second eigen value minus 1 when i how can i get 2 this is 1 more is minus 1 if you take in 2 it will become a minus 4 that is wrong so the root is repeated now in this case lambda 3 is equal to minus 1 finally by uh, we got three eigen values yes or no by using three eigen values we can say index rank nature of the quadratic form signature okay friends the eigen values of a are 2 comma minus 1 comma 1 now what you required nature of the quadratic form nature of quadratic form what is the nature of quadratic form here the eigen values are positive as well as negative so you can say the nature of quadratic form is indefinite if all the eigenvalues are positive, you can say this is a positive definite. If all the eigenvalues are negative, you can say negative definite. And uh, if suppose if you are getting a 0, 1, 1, means 1 is 0, another one, another 2 are positive, then you can say semi-positive. If 0, minus 1, minus 1, if you are getting, then in this case you can say semi-negative. But here you have a both positive and negative. So the nature of quadratic form is indefinite. Next you required index. What is mean by index? Now index means number of positive eigenvalues. How many number of positive eigenvalues here you have? One. So you can say index is one. Next uh, signature. Signature means the difference between positive eigenvalues and the negative eigenvalues. Positive eigenvalues is one. Next negative eigenvalues are how many you have? Two. So one minus two is equal to minus one. So this is the signature. And finally you can also find out the rank. Rank is nothing but generally rank we are denoting with smaller. Rank means number of non-zero eigenvalues. How many number of non-zero eigenvalues are there? Three. So rank is three. I repeat again friends. What we are doing here? First we are finding from the quadratic form it to symmetric form matrix A. From that matrix A we are finding eigenvalues. Now how can you verify nature of quadratic form means? Nature of quadratic form means if all the eigenvalues are positive then you can say positive definite. If all the eigenvalues are negative then you can say negative uh, definite. Next. If one is a zero, another uh, all the eigenvalues are means except one is zero, remaining all are positive, then you can say semi positive definite. One is zero, remaining all the eigenvalues are negative, then you can say negative definite. Whenever you have a both uh, positive and negative eigenvalues, then you can say the nature of quadratic form is indefinite. Next, index. Index means the number of positive eigenvalues are uh, denoting with the index. How many number of eigenvalues are there positive? Only one. So index is. 1. Next signature. The difference between positive eigenvalues and negative eigenvalues. Difference between positive eigenvalues and negative eigenvalues. How many positives are there? 1. How many negatives are there? 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Next rank of the quadratic form. Rank is nothing but the number of non-zero eigenvalues. How many non-zero eigenvalues are there? 3. So rank is equal to 3. Like this we can find out a rank index signature of the nature of the quadratic form. Okay without doing a canonical form. Now I am going to give one problem. Please try to solve. Find the nature, rank, index, signature of the quadratic form minus 3x1 square, minus 3x2 square, minus 3x3 square, minus 2x1 x2, minus 2x1 x3, plus 2x2 x3. Friends here you have to get a rank is equal to 3. Next index is a here you have to get 0. Next to signature you have to get a minus 3. Nature you have to get a negative definite. Okay. Please try to find out and verify with the answer. Thank you for watching this video.